Welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss the HTML form data submitted to Google Sheet with your computer, not from the app script. Okay, our file is saved in your local drive. You just open it and submit data. You can save your file in your USB pen drive and you can go anywhere else in the world. And you can just insert your pen drive to any computer con which is connected to the internet and you can open your file in any browser and submit data to Google Sheet. Okay, so let me take an example. So here I have an index.html file. So I just submit a data sample data here. When I click on request a demo. The form is successfully submitted to our Google Sheet. You will see here the form is successfully submitted. You will, you will see the form is not created in our Google Apps script. It's in our local drive C drive. And you can copy them this file in your pen drive, in your it, etc. Somewhere else you can just copy your file and open your file and submit data easily from anywhere if you don't have your own computer at the same time. So how this will be set up? This setup is very critical. If you watch this video completely, then you can easily understand and easily able to do setup. Okay, so let's begin. The code is free available in the description. But if you want the code, you can just go to description and get your code. But if you want to learn this setup because this setup is not easy. So watch this video complete and hit the subscribe button. Okay, so here you can get two files in our description a code.js and a index.html. You just need to create a new Google sheet in your drive. When you create a new Google sheet, you don't you don't enter these names. You don't enter these names. You, you should remain this empty. Okay. Why this empty? Why this empty? I will tell you. Just be, wait a minute. Okay. So here you will need to give a name to your sheet. If you don't want to give a name, by default, it's a sheet one. Okay. So you just click on extensions and click on app script and our code.js copy and paste it here. Okay. So paste it here. So here you will need to verify that your this name is exactly matched to this sheet name. Okay, so here you, we will use a do post method to submit the data from your pen drive from your local drive. Okay, when you are when you are connected to internet. Okay, so here I add a header. When header is date found, a date selection is occur okay that selection will be come okay. so you will see so just click on deploy new deployment and when you click on new deployment click on anyone and deploy when you click on deploy so you will get a link you will just copy this link and go to our index.html file okay so when you go to our index.html file just drop down and in the script section you will see a constant script URL. Okay, so here you need to replay here. You need to add your Google app script link and click on this save. Okay, so why I, I, I say you you don't need to write anything here because the reason behind is that you just you can add unlimited fields. You can add unlimited fields. Don't restrictions on it. You can add unlimited. Okay, so here you will see a field of first name. You can add middle name in the right time. You can add everything here. Don't restriction, don't initialize any variable in your code. Okay, so you must need this ID. Copy this ID and go to your Google Sheet and paste it here. If you are this ID is exactly same with this ID then your data is saved in your Google Sheet otherwise your data is not saved in your Google Sheet okay so same here for the last name 
just copy the id and go here and just paste the last name okay and same for the all so here i have the last field what would you ask i want to add one more field i just copy this okay i just copy this and i just copy this and just press enter and paste it here and here i will add will a uh, ans one okay so here i will do it for the ans one and i just copy this and here you will see uh, i will paste it here ans one and just click on save control s and when i go here and you will see a uh, one more field is come here and when i click on a uh, submitting sample data so you will see when i click on request a demo the form is successfully submitted you will see the form is successfully submitted but this value is not come here why so you will need to go to here and you will also need to name it the one and also you need to text okay so form control now again click on the save button and go to your html file and just enter again a sample data and when you click on request a demo you will see your data is sent successfully sent in your google sheet so in this way you can create your form for unlimited fields the code is absolutely free if you watch if you like this video just click on subscribe button and must write a comment on this video this is very necessary so take care in this video just